Good evening. Good morning. Good afternoon. Hello. It is the 23rd of May today. And I didn't come up the plot yesterday because we had uh, extra large winds. I'm not a meteorologist, but that's the, the official name for it. So big winds yesterday. And I've just come up to check if any of the rabbits got in because my fence has blown down already my gate is down. so my main gate is still attached so that all looks good polytunnel still up did a good job there but it's still a bit windy today as well and I can't I can't come up for a any large amount of time today because I've got, uh, got other things to be getting on with which is a shame but that's life that's what the weather's been normal you know what I mean alright make up your mind it's summer yet or what is it autumn why are we still having all these winds anyway but there's the little baby there First time I've caught her going in. Oh, I'm coming back out. My shed roof needs sorting. So that's got a hole in it. But, uh, yeah. That's been a, a thing that I've been meaning to do for a while. So It is the 27th of March. March? 27th of May. Gonna go back in time. Right, uh, let's go have a look at my carrot bed. Are they carrots or are they weeds? I don't know. There's one or two. Because at this stage they all kind of look like weeds. Um, right, what am I going to do today? I've had an influx of wood. It's been chatting to my mate at uh, Allotment Grow How. That's his channel on uh, YouTube. He said he'd give me a shout out because he's got quite a good following. Whereas I've got a good following but a little bit less anyway i got a lot of wood that was from uh got that from my mum and dad's house um so i'm gonna do something with that maybe another raised bed because i've been trying the reason why i uh made that raised bed was because i was trying to dig all this out down here to extend that down but the more I was digging, the more rocks I seemed to be hitting. Um, it just seemed like a really, really like stony uh, ground. I didn't really want to break my wrist trying to dig it over. So that was the reason for the raised bed. Now I'm going to unload the wood. That's making it to the video. So you can tell it's going to be a slow week this week. All right. <laughs> move that again probably up to the top but I just want to see because I don't know what I'm going to need yet <laughs> so definitely going to make another raised bed um, but yeah it's a bit too bit there's people behind me it's weird <laughs> So I haven't been up for a, uh, a few days, sort of back at work and, and all that sort of stuff. It's going to be an absolute scorcher for this time of year uh, over the next few days. So I've been coming up at night time just watering, keeping on top of that. And just sort of, now I've got most of the stuff in, I'm starting to relax a little bit when I come up here. Um, there's no sort of, you know, panic stations now. Um, I'm going to, that's my shed 
Oh, look at that fingernail. Let's cut that. Um, yeah, that, we had some high winds uh, last weekend and that uh, kind of blew that off. So, I might get a new shed. I don't know. I don't know. Or I might make one out of pallets. Can I do that? I don't think I can do that, but I, I can try, can I? Yeah, so I'm kind of, you know, once I've got this raised bed done, which I'm sort of halfway through doing while I'm doing this, um, then that's everything pretty much out. That's going to be for my cabbages and my um, Brussels sprouts. So, you know, I've got carrots in. I could do is put some parsnips out. I've still got some red onions to put out, so maybe I can put them in amongst that lot. Um, we'll see how big the bed is. But what I'm not going to do this time is filter the uh, the soil out. I'm literally just going to, I might just put a load of that in. And then sort of, sort of I've got some fresh dug soil around. I'm just going to put that in. Um, I'm not too fussed about the stones or the rocks and stuff in that one because, you know, it's it's only for the for the cabbages and stuff, so it should help with the aeration. And plus that thing, even though it looked great, absolutely took it out of me. You know, I've got blisters on my blisters, but um, it was it's going to be worth it to get some a nice crop of carrots. Hopefully, it is a weird time of day to be at the allotment. I am usually here in the morning, nearly eight o'clock at night. It's crazy. I'm up this late. And it's the 28th of May, not March, May. Yeah, so I just popped up. I did a bit of watering last night. I'm just having a look here because it's been warm the last few days. Coming up to June, June the 1st on Monday. So, yeah, everything's looking okay. But I'm not too sure about my onions. Um, are my onions shit, mate? Not sure about my onions, do I need to give them something? <sighs> I had a really good crop of onions last year. A beetroot, I don't um yeah, beetroot and um sweet corn look alright. Again I've got a lot of ants on there. Um I, th I think that's okay, isn't it? This is more of a QA right now, so if anybody can just sort of comment below if ants on the plot is a good thing, because I've got tons of them. Um, and my runner beans are starting to wrap around. I wasn't sure how well they're going to do because I've had uh, something nibbling away at them. But I've had some backups, so I've put them in as well next to them. So I just saved the beetle's life as well. Should have filmed that, but I didn't. Uh, so yeah, it's my plot. At nearly eight o'clock at night. Do a bit of water in, I suppose, one of me. All right. <laughs> The 29th. Just noticed a little red diamond. Let's just look there. Oh, I want the strawberry. Give me the strawberry. Probably leave it another day. But... Ticking it all. Probably needed another another day to fully ripen, but I'm having that. It's mine. That. Beat the rabbits. I beat the rabbits. I'll pop it up there. Well, I want to show you the other thing. So if you remember back in April, I think it was, that I uh, laid this membrane down to stop the mare's tail coming through and not sort of suffocating my um, my uh, strawberries so much. But uh, it's not been that successful, I'll be honest. But, you know, I did get to use a blowtorch for a bit and that was fun. Anyway, I'll let you look. It's like it's mocking me. So it's all the way under. 
everywhere, just popping up out of everything. So I'm going to take that off over the weekend and uh, give it a tidy up, pull some of those bits of mare's tail out. And again, the weeds are coming thick and fast because I'm, I'm watering pretty often, so it's giving a chance for the uh, weeds to grow as well. But that's another hands and knees job over the weekend. But there we go. There's my strawberry. Yeah, little strawberry, little fella. Happy with that. It is Saturday the 30th of May today. And I've finished the second raised bed now. It's a bit of a uh, Frankenstein's monster. So it's the hapless gardener's monster, but it's, uh, it's finished. But I just need to fill it now and it's getting hot already and it's only sort of nine o'clock in the morning and it's gonna get sort of hotter uh, today. I think it's getting up to about 24, something like that. Yeah, it's it's been dry, isn't it? It's been really dry over the last week or so, not much uh, in, the, in the shape of rain. So every night, as you've seen, I've been up watering because um, I did ask you a question about my onions, but uh, a fellow plot holder, fellow YouTuber, um, garden, uh, what's his name? Adam at yeah. Adam at um, Garden Grow How, I think. He's his YouTube channel. Uh, YouTube channel. Um, very helpful. Um, as I was watering, he was coming up to do the same thing. Water his plot. I caught him. And I was like, we were having a bit of a chat, and then I said, can you come and have a look at my onions? Because I'm not sure what's going on. And um, he was really helpful. So on the top of my, so on the on the spiky bits of the onions, the uh, the leaves, I guess you call them, they uh, they've gone a bit yellow. I'll just show you that. And I was one, I was just wondering if they maybe they were sort of deficient in something. Maybe they weren't getting enough something out of the soil. But basically what he said, and he had a lot of great knowledge on this, and um, I, I fully recommend going to his channel because he's, uh, he's got a lot of knowledge. He's been doing this for the best part of a decade, and um, probably more, actually. And what he said was it's basically just the most tender part of the plant because it's been so hot over the last few days that the, the tender parts just kind of get a bit frazzled by the sun. Um, <clears throat> he also said that you've got to keep them sort of watered after like a long hot day just come up and just water them because what will happen is if they get a little bit stressed out they send up a, their flower spike um, because they think they're dying or whatever so they just want to go to seed basically and I saw that happening a couple of times last year and what I did was just nip off it comes up like a little um, like a little triangle thing and you sort of nip I, I was just nipping them off because I, in my mind, I thought, well, the energy is probably going to go to the, uh, the the seed, and I don't want it to go to the seed. I want to go want it to go to the onion. Um, so that's what I was doing. He said, yeah, that's the right thing to do. But then what happens is it kind of stalls the bulb, so the bulb will just stay that sort of whatever size it is at that point. It will just stay that size. So um, it's kind of like a you can't can't once it's once that flower spike's been sent up, it's kind of like. Uh, it, it's kind of done um, so you got to keep them watered that's what I found out so my my my, uh, my, my onions aren't shit they're, they're good that question answered so that, that's the good thing about allotments and um, sort of getting to just just chat to people you don't have to be their best mates or whatever just have a chat with them just say hello just wondering if you could just help me out a lot of them will give you the knowledge and they will tell you what mistakes they have made in the past and then you don't have to make those mistakes then so make some friends at the allotment talk to people because they've got a wealth of knowledge that you might not have and uh yeah the majority of them are friendly get a couple of knobheads don't you but you know you know what i'm talking about adam and um so yeah it's uh, it's one of them that's my second raised bed it's my shadow I'm going to um, obviously remove all the bits of wood out in the middle of it and the plan is now 
this is going to be my sort of winter veg garden so i've got some cabbages some parsnips cauliflower and i've got some brussels sprouts and the idea is that i want to come up here sort of christmas eve somewhere like that pick everything that i want take that home for christmas dinner that's the plan for this bed my winter vegetable my christmas dinner bed i can't grow turkeys but i can grow sort of bit of veg all right the next thing i'd like to do which i'll do today is, is uh, pot up a couple of um, pumpkins a little bit late about a month behind but i'm gonna pot those up and i'm gonna clear a space somewhere don't know where yet and uh, i'm gonna stick them in <clears throat> and again talking to adam yesterday this should just be adam's fan fan page now because he was uh, telling me about pumpkins pumpkins love a lot of nitrogen so if you're doing sort of if you're um rotating beds and stuff if you've had peas or beans in a section like i told you before they stick a load of nitrogen into the soil in the roots so where my peas are this year next year i'm gonna put a load of pumpkins in there well say a load about three probably and hopefully the nitrogen in there will just help them just grow huge um but yeah that's kind of it for now so remember to stay hydrated uh put some sun cream on and uh good luck all right onions yeah all right i'm happy with that all right see you in a bit one thing i'm gonna do today is make like the nettle soup stuff I don't know if basically what you do you get some nettles you chop all those down you put them in a little bucket with a lid on it fill it full of water and just lock it down and apparently it smells horrific but i look forward to stinking it out but um yeah that's what i'm gonna film now i'm just gonna film that um again a million videos on youtube about this let's make it a million and one all right <laughs> idea now is that yeah I'll let that stew um, don't take the lid off or anything for the next week or so see my shed roof coming off there um, and then that the liquid in that the juice in that is full of nitrogen uh, when I plant my, um, my pumpkins out uh, the ground that they're going in isn't going to be that sort of fertile um, they're like well rotted manure and all that sort of stuff and they like a lot of nitrogen and hopefully that will give them a good boost to uh, to start uh, their little journey on to becoming pumpkins that i won't eat because it's boring isn't it but i will roast some of the seeds because i do like roasted pe uh, roasted pumpkin seeds um but it's for my kids so they can sort of carve, come up pick their own pumpkin take it home carve it up that's the idea um so yeah, but next year I'm gonna put it in my bean bed, which I've already I've already mentioned all that. I don't need to talk about that anymore. All right, someone's watching me. They saw me do uh, do that, so they see me do it again. Uh, but, uh, hot today, even though it's windy. <sighs> Weeding. <laughs> Right.
Right, so yeah, it's the 31st of May today, which is uh, the last day of May officially, unless it's the 32nd of May, which there might as well be because you know who knows what day it is at the moment. But everything's slowly going back to normal, isn't it? It's slowly getting there. It's windy today, you can hear that, can't you? Very windy today, I'll try and get you out of the wind. But it's still sunny. Um, so don't let the, the cool breeze fool you. You're still gonna need your sun cream, all right? I forgot mine today, so I'm gonna be pink, probably, at the end of this. Um, so yeah, I finished that, uh, the second raised bed, number two, yesterday. Uh, there it is. Again, you, you're not gonna uh, book me to come and uh, do your garden up, are you? So this is my Christmas dinner bed. Because um, what I want to do, I want to come up at, uh, sort of on Christmas Eve or as close as I can, pick my Brussels sprouts, my cabbages, my carrots, take them home, clean them off, cook them for Christmas dinner. That's the idea, right? But then I didn't realise how much space I needed between the um, Brussels sprouts, nearly two and a half foot, um, or, or two and a bit foot, something like that. So I could only, f I've got three. I've got, got three in there, in that bed. And I've, with the rest of them, I've kind of dotted them about a bit. Um, so I've got, I had sort of 10 sprout plants. So I've got three in there. I've got four in this bed with all the sweet corn and stuff. And I've got another three on the side down here. Just because I've never grown them before and I wanted to just put them out and I wanted them to, yeah, I just wanted to see how they get on. Um, so hopefully they do well. Um, like I said, I've put cabbages in, in the second raised bed. And um, what I want to do as well, I don't know if I've got enough room anyway, I want to put some um, cauliflower in there as well. So, but they're still a bit too small, so I'm going to wait. Another thing that I did yesterday, again, I didn't film half of this. I should have filmed it, but I didn't. Um, it's just trying to get things done, right? Sort of messing about with cameras and things, nearly fell over, it's fine. Um, but yeah, I've, I've put some pumpkins in. Planted some pumpkin seeds out that a mate of mine gave me from work. So, but again, instead of putting like one or two out, I put nine in. And I know they're all gonna come out and I'm gonna feel very guilty when they don't, when, when, I, when they've sprouted and I've got nowhere to put them. So, I need to make a massive bed for pumpkins now. Basically just trying to get my kids interested in coming to the allotment because they're not that interested. Can I play Minecraft at the allotment? No. Well, you probably can, but... So, my next sort of challenge over the first few weeks of June is going to be turning all this making all that a little bit tidier and sort of digging down and making another bed. I've got a gooseberry bush here as well, which um, I don't like gooseberries. Sorry if that offends anyone. Because people get offended by everything, don't they? These days, so. I don't want to dig it up either, even though I don't like them. I'm going to keep it and um, sort of dig around it. Maybe I'll have something over here I don't know but yeah that's going to be the next mission it's clear all of that tidy up a few trips to the tip if I can get in there because I know the queues for that place at the minute is mental and yeah that's that's the next mission for June but today I think I'm uh, just gonna have a little bit do a bit of weeding because uh, I've some mare's tails obviously popped up and I just need to keep on top of it um, and then what I'm gonna do is open up my peas a bit more I'm gonna take the uh, I'll take the netting off completely but I'm gonna sort of make a, um, a sort of cage around it rather than on top of it and let them shoot up 
because what I have noticed as well, this is a little mistake that I've made, is that I've had the net, this net, the side of the net, um, this side here, a little bit too close to those plants, and you can see, you might, you might not be able to see because it's the net, the camera doesn't like the net. Um, the ones on that side are a lot lower and a bit more sort of stunted than the other side. Uh, that's probably down to me having the net a little bit too close. This side's doing okay as well still, but it's, it's just a little bit smaller. Um, so I might not get a bigger crop off them. I've told you about my onions, my onions look good, I've done that. Um, Adam did tell me that I'm going to be sick of French beans by the end of, uh, of the summer, I think, because... A bit like last year, I got a bit excited with um, like planting loads of stuff out and I'd never grown French beans before. Uh, these aren't the runners, these are just the bush, sort of bush bean variety. And, um, and apparently once they start cropping, they don't stop a cropping. So, anybody want any French beans? Because I'm going to have about a million and probably more. Um, but you can uh, freeze them, so that's another thing that I'm going to do. I'm going to um, blanch and freeze, and maybe do a little video about that as well, because there's not many videos about that. Probably, probably is. I haven't looked. You know, it's proper windy today, so I'm going to do less monologue and get on with some weedy. All right. So, yeah. Can't see me now, can you? Where am I? Oh, the sun. The sun. <laughs> another sort of semi success well pretty good I don't know it's a bit boring this video <laughs> but thanks for watching all of it I appreciate that if you have some people only watch a few minutes of it and I appreciate that too because any any time you've spent watching something that I've created is uh, much appreciated um, so I'll show you my uh, these are my cauliflowers So a little bit small yet to put out, but I will be putting them out at some point. I've got plenty more cabbages. Um, again, it's just finding a space for them now. And uh, yeah, oh, and hello. I've got a pepper. I've got one of these little peppers. Can't see the see the price of it, two ninety nine, but quite a lot of flowers on it already. And I've potted it up in a big pot now so hopefully we'll have a lot of peppers if not i'll we'll have a couple of peppers and that's fine as well for 2.99 all right but yeah i really appreciate uh, you watching this week's video and um i'm going to try and keep them as consistent as i can but i'm not going to just upload for the sake of it if it's just me up here watering for a week it's kind of like you know a waste of everybody's time in it um, windy today, windy, can't get on, can't get on it, um, but yeah, thanks again for liking, any new subscribers, welcome to the channel, I will try and keep it consistent, I will try and keep it in informative as much as I can, because like I say, I don't really know what I'm doing, Shh. see you on the next one, ta-da!